Okay, we're going to take a look at an app called Multiple Meanings Library, and this is by Virtual Speech Center. If we click on the information button here, it'll give us a couple of great things to look at. How to use it, obviously very important. I'll guide you through that in the video, and then a description of what the app is all about. You can look at their website, Twitter, Facebook, and news, uh, get their newsletter from here. Uh, reports, I'll go into that later. If we look at settings very quickly, uh, alternate count means if you've got uh, more than one person using the app, how often will it change to that person? We'll leave that as it is because we're just going to use Benjamin as an example. Show the answer on or off, we'll leave that off. Show instructions on, automatic paging on. So let's go back out and let's go ahead and start. And when you go on here, you get the option to add a student. You simply type in the name and they would be added to the list. Once you've done that, you select them and click next. And then you have all of these words that have alternate meanings. Um, so you can scroll through them to have a look. All the way down to the bottom. So you can see there's a lot of words. And then you have all of the exercises down the side here. So we've got auditory bombardment, picture identification, definition, fill in, and make up sentences. So if we um, choose one word, for example, for this demo, uh, it looks like we've got two selected. Okay, so we've got bank and we've got uh, kid. So let's choose the, and you can choose any amount of these, so you can turn them on or off depending on what you want to work on. But we're going to select them all for this demonstration just to show you how it works. Let's go in here. Bank. I went to the bank to deposit cash. And then you can. I will bank on you to keep it secret. You can record those sentences. I went to the bank to deposit cash. I went to the bank to deposit cash. And you can record the other one if you like. You then move forward to the next one. Kid. He is a three-year-old kid. She likes to joke and kid around. And again, you have the option of recording that. So you can see that you have the two different meanings of the words. You can finish the session at any time and go back out, but we're going to continue to show you these. Which one is it? I will bank on you to keep it a secret. So now we have the picture identification. Again, you always have the option of recording. Which one is it? She likes to joke and kid around. If we get it wrong. Moves on. Guess which word is being described? A place where people keep money or to depend on something happening. Bank. Safe. Bet. So this is the definition part of the app and you've got the words to choose from down the bottom here. We'll choose the correct one. Guess which word is being described a child or to say a joke funny kid baby i know i can on my mom not to tell my secret and here, here we have fill in the Bank. blanks listen Say. And again, you choose from the three down the bottom uh, based on the fill in the gap. So I know I can one of these words on my mum not to tell my secret. So we'll choose bank. She likes to her husband by buying silly presents. Kid. Give. Talk. And again, if you get it wrong. It records it. Make up two different sentences using the word bank. What you do in this instance is you record the sentence. I need to go to the bank to take some money out. You can hear that back. I need to go to the bank to take some money out. And then I'm banking on my brother to bring my books to school because I forgot them this morning. And you can listen to that. I'm banking on my brother to bring my books to school because I forgot them this morning. And if you go through this and you get them right, then you can just click the check mark. Make up 
two different sentences using the word kid. And the same with the other word that we've got there. And we'll just say we didn't get those correct. So what happens is you'll get a session report and it'll highlight the student and it'll highlight what parts of the app, picture identification, definition, fill in and make up the sentences and the accuracy for each one of those. You can email those reports and um, send them home or send them to the teacher at school. You can also go into reports and have a look based on um, the skills. So the definition, the picture identification, the fill in and see the areas that they are um, struggling in based on the student that you have here. You can also change it by date and time or activity. So that's kind of how the app works. Uh, like I said, a lot of, I think over 60 different um, words to work on there. So multiple meanings library. And again, this is by Virtual Speech Center. Take a look.